Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Philippians, the third chapter, verses 12 through 14, and it reads as follows. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Now, Paul starts out and he says, not that I have already attained. That means he hasn't accomplished. And when you when you read Paul's letters, when you read Paul's writing, you think that he is already there. He has already done all these things. Um, but he believed that he, okay, that we might expect he believed that he had done all these things. But Paul said, no, I have not. I haven't done all of these things that I need to do spiritually. No, I haven't come close to perfection. No. And he tells you that it was not so. There is and was no one perfect except Christ. And Paul tells you right here, not that I have already attained a nope, or am I already perfected? No, he's telling you he's not. Um, nobody has. If you are living... You have not attained it. You are still striving towards it. And we don't always have constant victories. We don't always win at what we do. That's what makes you call on God. That's what makes you dependent on God because you're only going to win with them. And we got too much human in us to call on God like we should. Um, that's one of our humanistic fallacies. So, Paul says, since I haven't done it, guess what? I press on. I haven't made it there, so I'm going to press on. And that is the only option Paul could see. It wasn't to stop. It wasn't to go backwards. It was to press on. There was no reason to go back. He knew who he served. He knew who he loved and who he wanted to be with. And that was that direction. So, Paul pressed on. And he, excuse me, and he wasn't going to go backwards. That I may lay hold of what, of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Paul was doing what Jesus wanted. This was about obedience and knowing what the Lord wanted from him. And what is it that we are supposed to do? Thy will all the time. Thy will. And that's whose will he was looking at. God's will, not his own. That I may lay hold. Paul was putting this in an aggressive manner. I may grab it. I may hold firmly. I may attain it. It may be mine. I may put it in my grasp. Paul was trying. But, as he is telling you clearly, clearly, the reason he keeps going is because he hadn't made perfection. The prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul was focused, period. He was, he was strictly directed at one thing, and that was Christ. So the past would not do him any good, it harm. It couldn't distract him. It couldn't deter him. His focus was Christ. And those things that are behind us, we should leave behind us. Paul gives you a prime example. Stay on the Lord. Quit worrying about yesterday. And he tells you, I press toward the goal for 
the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. See, the prize he speaks of, and it says, the prize of the upward call of God. And what is the prize? Getting the call. To get the call is the prize. Not anything else that comes with the call. Just get the call. Get the call to do work, to be a servant. Any benefit that comes with it is a blessing. The upward call of God in Christ Jesus is anything else. The only way to the Father is through the Son. So this upward call of God can only occur in Christ Jesus. And that was who Paul was. That was what Paul was speaking upon. And Paul is telling you about his relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen.